Hi everyone, this is Akanksha Meena, India editor of Labels and Labeling magazine. And for today's video, I have with me Sudeep Mal, managing director of Tamaki India. Uh, hi Sudeep, it's great to have you here today. How are you doing? Hi Akanksha, thank you for uh, no inviting me for this uh, call. Thank you, really appreciate it. Uh, great. Uh, so, Hutamaki India has partnered with a Finnish clean tech startup called River Recycle and VTT Technical uh, Research Institute of Finland to develop a technology to clean Michi River in India. Is that right? Uh, yes, uh, Akansha. That's an exciting initiative which uh, no, we at Hutamaki are extremely proud of. And uh, it basically fits into our company's purpose. If you look at the purpose of Hutamaki, it is that um, it's the belief that we can protect food, people, and the planet. We believe in circular economy. And uh, this belief has translated into this as one of the initiatives. Otherwise, sustainability is embedded into everything that we do. Uh, uh, and uh, this project uh, was sponsored uh, as part of our 100-year anniversary of the company. Uh, we we funded uh, 600,000 euros uh, to a clean uh, tech startup, as you mentioned, uh, Rivercycle. It's a Finnish uh, startup. And uh, what this technology does is uh, it uh, you know, collects the waste from the river before it reaches the uh, ocean. Uh, in this case, uh, from Miti River before it uh, hits the Ar Arabian uh, Ocean. But uh, I think most importantly, what it does is, uh, you know, instead of it being considered as a waste, it creates value out of it. I think that's very, very exciting. And uh, as you know, that marine waste is one of the biggest challenges facing humanity today. It, it kind right. of uh, disturbs the marine ecosystem. And uh, we are very proud that uh, this is one of first pilots in the world. And that's taking place here in Michi River in Mumbai. So that, that sounds very exciting. Uh, so how does this technology exactly work? If you can explain us that. Uh, this is, uh, this, is uh, this works on a you know, solar power equipment. Uh, what it does is uh, first it uh, you know, puts all the waste together, you not know, kind of collects it together, and then it collects it and then separates it into different parts. Uh, for example, uh, the organic, wa organic waste, it goes uh, into creating compost. Uh, the plastic waste is also segregated. Whatever can be recycled goes for recycling. And, uh, and the ones which can't be recycled goes through a process called uh, pyrosis. Uh, so in that sense, uh, what otherwise would have hit uh, the ocean, it would have uh, you know, spoiled the marine ecosystem and we know what it does to marine life. Instead of that, it is actually creating value because it is it has been collected before it hits the ocean, it cleans up the river, and at the same time, it creates value. So I think that's why we think it is an exciting uh, project. And at Utamaki, we are very proud of the fact that you know, we, are, we, are, uh, no, we are participating and partnering on this uh, pilot project. That's very exciting. So. So why was Methi River chosen exactly? What was the reason behind specifically choosing Methi River in Mumbai? Uh, as you know, Mumbai is the commercial capital of India. Yeah. And uh, Methi River is actually like the artery of uh, Mumbai city. And uh, if you look at, uh, I don't know whether you know that uh, the place where Methi River actually meets Arab Arabian Ocean, that point is actually is a bird sanctuary. It wow. has been nominated as a bird sanctuary and a lot of migratory birds would come in there. And uh, as, as a matter of fact, uh, Hutamaki's uh, office in uh, BKC actually overlooks the Miti River. And so it's very close to the heart of all of us at, uh, in the company. And uh, when globally we wanted to do this initiative, we said, why not do this? In the most uh, important or the, com or the commercial capital of India, a river which is close to our uh, heart. And this is a pilot project globally. This is a new project which uh, the clean tech startup had come up with. And we are, we are 
We're very, very proud to be associated with it. And we are very grateful to MMRDA, which is the uh, Mumbai uh, you know, Development Authority, for uh, you know, collaborated with us and giving us the opportunity. And uh, there are also multiple other partners who have been uh, engaged with this, which includes uh, United Nations Innovation Lab. Uh, it includes, of course, uh, our cleantech uh, partners and uh, the Research Institute uh, in uh, Finland. So there are multiple, it's, it's, it's a outcome of uh, many um, similar thinking institutions coming together to execute this project. That's, that's quite an effort. Uh, so, so what happens, what exactly happens with the waste that is collected? Very, very interesting because typically if you ask anybody, they say waste, oh my God, what's, what's going to happen to it? It's going to hit the marine life. And, but I think this is one uh, initiative, pilot initiative, which can really create, not only reduce waste, declutter the river, not allow waste to hit the ocean so that it does not spoil the marine ecosystem, but also create value out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, because the, the waste is basically gets collected through this uh, solar powered equipment. Yeah. It segregates the waste into organic and plastic and recycles what can be recyclable and the rest is gone through a pyro project uh, process. And, uh, and then that's how value is created. So clean river, clean ocean, and creating value out of the waste. And that's why it is so exciting. OK. Uh, uh, so it seems that Hotamaki is quite heavily invested in this project. So what else is the funding being used for? Uh, actually, we this is a holistic project uh, because it is not just about uh, cleaning the river and helping the marine life. But uh, part of the funding also goes to the communities uh, near the riverbank in, in uh, creating, uh, you know, doing hands-on workshops for them to understand uh, you know, waste management or uh, to create education uh, so that they're better empowered and equipped. So that is one part of it. The second part is, uh, you know, as I said, this is a pilot project. Uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting project. So, the team would be also be capturing data and insights because as you know that uh, waste type of waste keeps changing depending on the season and time of the year so how is that how can we manage and optimize it better so that data would also be captured and be fed into this research institute in finland who would build that into the uh, in the improvement of this uh, equipment as we go forward but uh, this is just one uh, project. Uh, but as I said, Akanksha earlier, we at Tutamaki, uh, you know, we keep uh, sustainability and circular economy at the heart of everything that we do. So this year, for example, we are coming up with a very exciting pilot project here in Mumbai, uh, which is uh, basically it will create uh, multi-layered plastics, post-consumer use plastics, and convert that it will segregate and convert that into pallets. And those pallets can be either be recycled or they could be used into you know, things like, uh, let's say chair or a waste bin, et cetera, so that uh, you know, we, are, you know, um, we are avoiding waste fill and that should come up by the end of this year. So that's a very exciting project that we are working on. Uh, we, you know, we all, this also extends to our CO2 footprint. Uh, we this year we will be setting up close to one megawatt of uh, solar power. Uh, basically, uh, we are using all our manufacturing, uh, many of our manufacturing plant locations, the rooftop. We are using it to generate solar power. So this by the end of this year, we'll hope to have around uh, one megawatt of solar power. I think uh, no, that's also very exciting. And similar work we are doing around you know, water recycling, etc. So as I said, that uh, Utamaki. Uh, sustainability is embedded in everything that we do. Absolutely. No, that sounds really interesting. And it's, it looks like that Hotamaki is very uh, heavily invested in the idea of sustainability and is doing multiple things to ensure that, uh, to ensure circular economy, sustainability, recyclability. So that sounds very exciting. And uh, yeah, so that was so it was very good to hear from you, Sudeep, and uh, uh, all the best for these projects. They sound really interesting and exciting. 
yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting us. And I hope uh, this endeavor to create a better world inspires your viewers. And we hope uh, it will have a ripple effect and we can get many more uh, companies and consumers into this very noble cause. Thank you very much for inviting me to this uh, interview. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and make sure to click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You can see more videos from this playlist by clicking the video on the right or click the video on the left to see all of our other videos.